Hi everyone, happy Halloween, Millie and Lloyd, hope everyone is having a good day. If you enjoyed today's content, like, subscribe, comment, and if you could please spread the word. Today's list is what I'm going to be playing this Halloween. My number 5, Costume Quest 2 Double Fine Productions, came out for the PlayStation 4 in 2014. This game centres around Halloween which is pretty cool. You and your sibling go out and one of you gets abducted by the dentist. You must save your sibling and Halloween in this RPG. You get different outfits that give you different powers. With spooky themed locations, this simplistic RPG with its Halloween theme is a lot of fun to play. Number 4 then, Undead Nightmare by Rockstar Games came out for the PlayStation 3 in 2010. Using the Red Dead game engine, it's a tongue-in-cheek zombie western. The graphics are good, and it's a lot of fun to play. If you watch a lot of horror movies, which I do, especially zombie movies, which I do, then you will see a lot of those tropes here. We need a PS4 version of this, or maybe a second one for Red Dead Redemption 2. My number three then, Resident Evil 7, Capcom came out for the PlayStation 4 in 2017. This on VR is amazing. Makes you feel a little uncomfortable at times, but brings a feeling of being involved. The fact arguably this is the second best Resident Evil. It plays so well. It is gorer, scarer and blood pumping from beginning to end. So my number 2, Until Dawn Supermassive Games came out for the PlayStation 4 in 2015. This is a horror movie as a game, with all the cliches and tropes to boot. You play 8 characters, all of which will live or die depending upon your choices. The death scenes are brutal, and the characters are well put together, and they're likeable or unlikeable as you choose. It's possible for everyone to survive or everyone to die. Great game with jump scares, perfect for the Halloween season, bring on the seas of Medan.
place on that one. Annie Klein. Thanks for having me, Mike. The surgeon update on Hannah and Beth Washington. Twins who are still visible. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the city of their parents' lodge and headed out to the snow town. Foul play. Not officially, you know. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently on their way. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He has warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. Now there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. My officers did search the ground, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to free tragic events. So here we are at number one. Little Nightmares by Tarsia Studios came out on the PlayStation 4 in 2017. For me, to be a Halloween game, it can be creepy, spooky, scary and unusual. Little Nightmares seems to have a little of all of those. It might only look like a platform game at first glance. You can add both stealth and puzzles to that. It is quite accomplished at all of those and it becomes more obvious as you play. Its art style is creepy and scary enemies make it almost perfect to play at Halloween. The story is interesting and whilst it's not a horror game, it's the perfect Halloween game. Thanks for listening one and all, have a happy Halloween, please check out my other content, Halloween movies, top 10 survival horror and Halloween theory and much more. Bye Millie, bye Lloyd, bye everyone.